Samson, hard mode. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, I don't generally use Samson. I think he's kind of a dull character, but he's not terrible. I mean, he's not he's not bad. Uh, let's see. So, question: Are you hoping Dark Souls Three <laughs> turns out uh, good? I mean, so at this point, I don't think I don't think from software. Yes, I know this has nothing to do with Isaac. What, whatever. I don't think at this point that from software can make a bad product. They can make an inferior product to something that they've made before. Um, but I feel like the Souls games are such labors of love, um, and such, like, highly... The thing is, they're such repetitive games that don't... They don't change too much from iteration to iteration, but they do change. Um, I feel like... I And I know, like, the idea that a company can do no wrong is exactly how Ubisoft got, got its reputation. You know, so many people were so used to Ubisoft being, you know, a titan of industry and very, very, very good, that everybody, everybody started to, like, overlook the small issues and eventually they just, they just grew complacent themselves. Um, but I, like, I've played, um, I, I've played a fair amount of Bloodborne, uh, though obviously not as much as, like, say, my buddy Sebastian S.B. or, you know, many of the other people that are actually serious about Bloodborne. And I've played a ton of Dark Souls 2. Now, a lot of people hated Dark Souls 2 because it didn't have the uh, the uh, the ambiance and the... Um, I'm going to say the fun factor. It didn't have the same feeling as uh, Dark Souls 1. But I actually didn't really mind it that much. It was honestly a lot easier to get into. Uh, which I guess might... I'm going to say taint that, but uh, might change that. But I, I felt like... You know, Dark Souls 2 was, you know, much more of a complete experience. But uh, Dark Souls 2 was way, way more fun, in my opinion. They learned a lot from, you know, Dark Souls 1, as well as Demon Souls. I actually really like Demon Souls, and I'm kind of disappointed uh, they don't kind of go back to that universe or something like that, too. Uh, wow, if I had bombs, we'd have stuff here, but we don't, so... Guess we're on our own here. Goody. Um, hmm... But, honestly, I, I like Dark Souls 2 a hell of a lot more than I like Dark Souls 1. Because of many reasons. I do miss the, like, the feeling of a complete world that Dark Souls 1 had. But, uh, I'd say Dark Souls 2 is absolutely, uh... Dark Souls 2 is absolutely just a much better, more fun, more streamlined experience. Um... And, I mean... I also really enjoy the co-op, and it's a pain in the ass co-oping in uh, the first game. Prefer not to be around one of these guys. Okay, it's not the big and blue one. It must be this guy that's going to shoot out tears when he dies. There we go, got it. Let's see, Are, am I going to do the DLC for Bloodborne? Man, I haven't even played Bloodborne yet. Keith and I need to finish Divinity Original Sin. Ah, fuck. actually kind of a messy fight, but unfortunately I've already taken red heart damage, which kind of puts me in a shitty position. We'll figure it out. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I'm probably not going to do the Bloodborne DLC until I restart that co-op series, whenever that will be. Because as much, as much as I like the Souls games, uh, I don't really generally have time for them as a solo experience, and I find they're I find them to be way more fun, uh, in co-op. Uh, in general. So, whenever, whenever Sebastian SB and I can, um, can find some time in our schedule, which is pretty much whenever we finish Divinity Original Sin, then, uh, we'll start either Monster Hunter, uh, Monster Hunter 3 or Bloodborne. Not sure which. Uh, and then alternate. Unless he really wants to do Dark Souls 3 with me, but... I think he's going to be doing that one solo. I don't know. There's a lot of, like, really good games out there. Uh, that both of us would like to cover. <sighs> I'm glad I'm small. And fast. We've got a tinted rock here. Let's hope it's a good one. Okay, it's a bomb and a spirit heart. 
You know what? We can probably get to and through the boss fight without taking damage. Let me eat my words. They taste like sadness. I guess I could just bomb this out, but why waste the bomb? Be great if it had a... It'd be great if it had a bypass here. I don't know. I guess a lot of it also depends on, like, my, t my time and views and stuff. Obviously, um, one of the main limiting factors here is I'm not, like, a, a larger channel. Uh, I'm not, like, Cryotic, where I can play literally whatever I want, and I get, like, infinite views. Um, I, I mean, I'm not a small channel anymore, which is really good. Uh, but, you know, I, I'm still, I'm still very reliant on, you know, coming up with new and interesting content that, uh, people, you know, want to watch and stuff. And so generally that is new games. Deal with the devil? No deal with the devil. Dog food. All right. Well, let's get down. Let's keep going. But, uh, let's see. Let's see what's in here. Nope, just a regular chest. I'm, I'm just rushing it at this point. We are, I mean, we've already got chocolate milk, which is a massive damage up. Hopefully we can get a little bit more than that, though. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get it. I should probably be a little bit more patient with this. Just because these guys can pop into my face and hurt me. Uh, which is gonna suck. But, uh, so as much as I'd like to play whatever I, what, uh, whatever the heck I want, I do have to keep some level of, like, consistency and, you know, newness to my series. As much as I would love to be able to just sit down and start playing, say, all the Final Fantasy games from 1, and then just going up the list from there. Uh, or, for example, what else could I do? I don't know, there's, like, an infinite number of things that I could do. Uh, but obviously, like, gotta stay relevant, gotta generally keep the games new and keep it, uh, I'm gonna say exciting, but exciting isn't the right word here. Uh, but that sort of thing. Have you ever played Spore? Don't talk to me about Spore, man. Don't talk to me about Spore. Everybody has their Spore, and I have Spore. Uh, that was, like, the biggest fuck you the game industry has ever shoved in my face. Uh... I might play it at some point, but god, I just- that game makes me angry. Okay. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take it nice and slow. What? Uh, it'd be really nice if we could get, like, Magic Mush. Or Quad Shot, come to think of it. I actually don't think I've ever had a Quad Shot Chocolate Milk run before. Have I? Probably. All right. Well, this is gonna be interesting. There's some damage. Uh, so what Spore did to me? It's more what Spore didn't do, which is be everything that they could have, they promised it would be. So I really, really was looking forward to Spore for years. I knew about Spore when I was in like fifth or sixth grade. Uh, because I lived in the same general area that they're developing it. Um. And so, like, I knew about it way, way, like, years in advance. Which is really bad. Honestly. Like, you don't, you don't want to do that. Because generally, whenever you know about a game way too early. And they start, like, promising the world, the moon, whatever you want to call it. Uh. 90% of the time. It's not... It's not what you expected, and it's not what you want. Uh, suffice to say, effectively, uh, Spore, was, Spore was awful. It was not a good game. Uh, it looked really cool, but it was a massive let letdown. And um, Spore came out on my birthday, which sucked, because I also had the flu. I was super sick. And my dad, my dad, who's, you know, at home taking care of me because, like, I was so sick I needed somebody to take care of me. Damn it. I was so sick somebody needed to take care of me. So my dad goes out, comes back with my birthday present. It's Spore. I'm stoked. Damn it. Like, I was over, I was, I was over the moon. I was, like, super, super happy. You know? I finally had my copy of Spore. And I played it. 
And I turn to my dad, who's also playing it, because we've managed to install it on multiple computers. Don't know how we manage this, but still. But we, we effectively have, you know, multiple people playing it. I'm like, am I just really sick, or is this bad? And my dad, who, you know, good on my father for, like, never saying bad about anything, got up and left the room instead of answering me. Uh, and my brother comes home, and he's like, Oh, dude, you have Spore! Let's play, let's play some! And I'm like, fine, go for it. I'm not gonna stop you, and I just gave him my computer and went up and went to go take a nap. Later, you know, I'm eating or something, I don't know. I don't really remember. I was hella sick. Yeah, fuck. Damn it, I have to redo this entire fight. Uh, later I, uh, come back. Come back to you, I don't know if I was awake or whatever. But effectively, I go talk to my brother, and he's like, Dude, this game sucks. And apparently, uh... Apparently, my dad had stealthy, stealthily... Uh, wanted to return the game and go get something different, but he didn't know what to get me. So... He couldn't figure that bit out. But it was... It was just such a nightmare... Of a sad... Sad game. That was a spirit heart that I'll never be able to get. I mean, there's a lot of, like, there's a lot of reason why Spore is good, but the hype was just so high that there's, there was plenty of ways they could have delivered on it, but mainly it was Max's, uh, Max is getting bought out by, um, by EA was the, more or less, the last draw for why that game never turned out good, which is really, really sad. Because I really believed in it. I thought I thought Spore was going to be awesome. And it wasn't. Well, this is going to take a while. But that's okay. I'm Commander Missile Bomber. And everybody dies. I really hope I get Monstro's Lung this time around. This... Uh, this is such a fun weapon with Monstro's Lung. Do, did we get anything good? The am answer is Amnesia. I think I already had Amnesia. I don't know. Little Big Planet is better than Spore. I don't know. I've never played a Little Big Planet. I feel like I'd enjoy it if I if I could play it. Honestly, I'd I'd love to actually have a group together for Little Big Planet, but that's not the sort of thing that. Most of my friends would have access to. In fact, I only have access to what? The third one? I don't know. Let's go fight the Emperor. Right off the bat. Is this a dual boss? Oh, yeah. Ha! Huh. Never fought this combo before. Let's take the. Let's go take the husky thing out. Okay. We'll be fine. He's easy enough. Okay, let's hold off on the red heart containers. Let's grab pentagram. Okay, quad shot plus tiny planet. Awesome rotating missiles as they fall. That's great. Okay. Gotta remember, my shot speed isn't great, so my cursor moves slowly. Okay, at least it goes off, uh, off camera. Is there... There's probably no reason for me to even bother with any of these things. I'll blow up the skulls, though. <clears throat> Yeah. Never beat Spore, got stuck in the space stages. Can't blame you! The space stage sucked. It's like, here, here's a here's an enemy that you generally can't beat in any way, shape, or form. Good luck. I did not... I truly did not enjoy that game. It made me so sad. Okay, well, let's just keep using teleportation cards, I guess. We got Chaos and we've got Ansys. Well, let's use the stars. Gets me smart fly. Okay. So there's one. I actually really do like running Epic Fetus. I almost never use it. But I really do like it here. Oh, wow. That was convenient. Uh, so let's grab Ansys and keep going. We've, we're have we really motoring on this this level, but I'm okay with that. I'm not going to bother with shopping. We're all, we're all good to go. Okay, so let's blow answers, and I guess let's go down here. It'll be easier. Bomb our way in, especially in a room with zero enemies in it. What? 
Come on. There we go. Masters of Orion 3 is probably worse. See, I actually had a decent time with Masters of Orion 3. I knew it was a piece of shit going into it. And I knew it wasn't going to be good going into it. So I kind of went into it with the expectation that, you know, it's going to be like a quibbling management game more than actually a, like Masters of Orion 2. Uh, and it actually made the experience much more enjoyable as far as I was concerned. Okay, do I want to go with... Nine lives? Not overwhelmingly. Why did I go with it anyway? Because, I mean, what else? What, whatever else am I going to do with all this health? I don't know. Watch watch me get, like, an awesome deal with the devil in, like, five seconds, damn it. Probably didn't want to get that one. Spore wasn't super terrible, it was just disappointing. So the thing about Spore, and the reason why um, Spore specifically bothers me so much... Ah, really? Eden's Blessing? Alright, whatever. Um, the reason why uh, Spore bothers me so much is because they actually had, like, working working gameplay for, like, way, way later. Or, like, way, way earlier, before the game even came out, of so many features that don't, exi that don't exist in the current game. Like, they had... Um, they had a much more in-depth creature phase. Um, it didn't run very well, but, like, it was actually much more of a, like... It was much more of, like, an adventure feeling, honestly. Um, they had they had intermediate steps, I believe, between the, uh, the, the water stage, damn it. Uh, they had more intermediate steps... Error 404 effect not found. I don't remember what 404 does. Well, either way, let's bomb open this door. Which is right here. Yes, there we go. And we get drugs, so we get amnesia. 48 hour energy, amnesia, amnesia. Infested, okay. Let's grab the 48 hour energy. Uh, it's better than headless horseman. I don't know what this one does. I truly don't. Oh well. Yeah, let's blow them up. Yeah, that was probably worth it. Okay. But yeah, like, truly it was disappointing, but honestly, as far as I'm concerned, like, disappointing doesn't doesn't cut that kind of thing. Like, what, what was a game that was disappointing because it was lackluster? Um... I'm trying to come up with an idea with that one. There are plenty of games that have been disappointing but not, like, truly, I'm gonna say, like, ridiculous. Ah, uh, it's a game that came out recently that everybody was really looking forward to. I don't know. Ooh, I got 20 keys now. Perfect. Let's see, it's sort of the way Dark Souls 1 fans talk about Dark Souls 2. Sort of? Except for, like... Except for, like, honestly, in that case, it's just stylistic differences. Oh, here's a, here's a good example of a game that was disappointing. Um, Lords of the Fallen. Lords of the Fallen was not a great game. It wasn't the worst game I've ever played. Oh, Dungeon Keeper 1 and 2. Okay. D100 or D4. Wow, these are not great options across the board. I guess we're going this way. So what else? I mean, Lusty Blood. Why not? Oh man, we got Bloodlust and Lusty Blood. Fancy. Ow. Fuck. Never had a boss chamber like this. Okay, he's dead now. Let's go for the other. Jerk some one. Oh, hey, we got Revenge Fly. That's useful. Okay. We've also got several other things to our benefit. Lots of rocks in the way, though. Honestly, this is kind of a pain in the ass level. Major benefit is, I do a ton of damage, so I can kind of work with it. But still, so where is the horseless headman? Headsman? I don't know, and I'm not sure how I'm ever going to hit him. Fuck. Got him. Alright, perfect. Uh, and that was fast. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. 
I'm trying to think of... I'm trying to think of... Oh, yeah. So, I was talking about, um... Lords of the Fallen. Like, Lords of the Fallen wasn't a bad game. But it was... It wasn't what there was promised. But it ultimately, like, wasn't really that different from... What everybody expected. It just wasn't good. They never showed anything better. It just wasn't as good as they were promising. So that was a disappointment. Spore was better than what they promised already, and then, like, they literally cut features that made it good. Ah! Stay away from my missiles. There we go. Okay. Got it. This is working out surprisingly well. I, I don't think I've ever done epic fetus, damn it. I don't think I've ever done Epic Fetus comboed with, um, Boss Rush before. It's a pain just because I can't see where the cursor is. Like, there's just so much red on the ground. How did I take that? Oh, did I step on, like, bloody poop or something? Or maybe he shot me. Or maybe there was a heart. Yeah, maybe it was one of these little heart things. I don't know. Well, either way. Oh. Frail or pin? Frail. Okay, at least I do enough damage to just insta-get most of them. Ah, crap, we got the bloat. Well, benefit is, I don't have to fight the bloat normally. That helps a lot. Okay. What else was, like, really disappointing? Uh, Alien Isolation was bad. I don't know. I heard a lot of people that, like, really liked Alien Isolation. I think that was one of those, like, very polarizing games where it really depended on what you wanted. I don't really have an opinion because I didn't get the chance to play it. Uh, and probably never will. Eh, you know what? No. I don't know. Shell, Shell possibly really likes that one. So she, we might end up playing it with, like, her at the helm at some point. Not entirely sure on that one. That's for that's for later wander to deal with. Where's my cursor? There it, there it goes. Okay. Pin, you're going down. There we go. Yeah, yep. And we get farting baby. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't really have much of an opinion on that game. I don't I'm trying to think of games that truly disappointed me. The Deer God was a massive disappointment, but I highly doubt most people even know what that game is. It looked gorgeous, it sounded amazing, but hot damn was it boring. It was like the dullest roguelike I've ever played. Uh, what else was really bad on like the roguelike side of things recently? I thought there were- oh, Bounty Train! I thought Bounty Train was going to be awesome. I thought it was going to be like FTL, but with trains and stuff. And it was cripplingly boring. Uh, to the point where I couldn't deal with it at all. Go fight the Hush. I don't think I'm gonna fight the Hush on this run. Yeah, Dear God was a hold right simulator. Yeah! I hate those. They're so bad. Oh god, they're not all dead yet. There we go. I'm trying to think, what other roguelikes have I played recently that were disappointments? Dunno. Thinking. see. XCOM. Hmm. I've never, pl I've never played any of the earlier XCOM, so I don't have an opinion there. Uh, let's see. God, why is the targeting reticle red? Who does these things? Who thinks that's a good plan? McMillan. I don't know. Whatever. Okay. But yeah, so that's part of the reason why I will probably never play Spore. I might. But it's just, it's just such a, such a just bad memory, as far as, like, design and stuff goes. Uh, yeah, let's go in. Let's pop the devil. We're gonna want the extra damage here, anyway. So we take as little damage from this bastard as possible. There we go. Okay. Don't know how that's gonna work. Hello, Krampus. How you doing? Not exactly having a good day, are ya? Ooh, lump of coal. Yeah, that's useful. Okay. The hardest part about this topic is it requires me to be actually, like, 
using my memory and stuff. Yeah, pretty much. You mean Tyrone? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know who makes these decisions. I guess it probably would have been. Well, no. McMillan was an artist. Oh, let's go with Studfinder. I'll take it. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to think of other games that were disappointments. Oh! Um. Sonic games at this point are, I would say, truly disappointing. They're just. Just. They're just not good. I. Yeah, you know what? I would actually put Sonic games in with Spore. The Sonic games were truly never amazing, comparatively. Like, there are so many better games than Sonic games. But they always had that, like, some level of... I, I'm gonna say magic, even though magic isn't quite the right descriptor. But they they were solid back in, like, the early 2000s. Like, I really, I really liked, um... I really liked Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2. They weren't great games by, like, modern standards, but they were fun to play. And, you know, I grew up with them, had a ton had a ton of fun playing them, even if they were ultimately kind of vapid. Uh, but, like, more recent Sonic games, I mean, they've been trying, but let's be honest here. There's no... Fucking... Uh... But, like, they've been, they've been trying to come up with, like, new things. Like, I feel like Sonic Boom was kind of like an attempt. But really what they need to realize is, you don't... The way to fix Sonic is to just give up and go back to making Sonic. And stop dicking around with, like, weird, weird nonsense. Okay. Monkey Paw. Don't care too much. Would rather have Stud Finder. Though I'm not entirely sure what Stud Finder does in this situation. In fact, no, I just don't know what Stud Finder does. I thought it found... Ow, there's... Oh, there's a worm hiding in, inside my all of my dudes. I got it. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got one more room. And it does not have... Fuck. You serious? Well, whatever. Oh, apparently that counts for charges, though. That's kind of useful. All right. Well, I can get all of these. Give Hush one of my special turd missiles. No, man. I'm, I'm not going to go fight the Hush. I don't feel like it. Hush is kind of dull anyway. But... Like, I actually really liked uh, Sonic Generations. It wasn't... It wasn't the greatest Sonic game. In fact, it was kind of par for course, but it felt good. I really liked Sonic Colors. I thought Sonic Colors was quite well done. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go fight the Hush. He'll have a bunch of items for me. Uh, Stud Finder increases the chances of finding crawl spaces. Okay. Wow. So we're gonna find a bunch. I guess I should have blown up more rocks then. I might not win against the Hush here. We got a lot of health, but we'll figure it out. Okay. We've also got a lot of money. So let's see. Mini Mush or... Uh, I'll think on this one. Let's go with Flaming Tears. And let's start blowing these up. Do I have any of the XCOM games? I think I only have the newest one. Enemy Unknown. Honestly, I probably... I probably... I don't know if I'd ever go back to the original XCOM games. Actually, I might have them for, um... Good old games. I'd have to check. What the... Oh! Curse of the Maze. There we go. I gotcha. Alright. Well, let's grab this. Use it twice. Go back to this. Grab the Spirit Heart. Grab the blue map. Grab the key, because what else am I going to do here? Blow this up. So here's the question. What do we want to do? Do we want to... Do we want a mini mush? Do we want to stat up? You know, my stats are pretty good. 
Let's go small. Let's get tiny. That'll make this a hell of a lot easier. And we get that. Fascinatingly enough. I don't entirely know what that does for us. But okay. I'll see you, Cathedral. Have a good one. Okay, so we are we are minuscule. We do damage. We get the fool. I don't think I can fool my way out of fighting the hush here. So I guess let's just fight the hush normally. You know what? This might... Oh, God. Yeah, the problem is we're fighting him in a very small room. That's, th that's really the big problem. Or not a very small room, a very big room. I don't like fighting enemies in big rooms with uh, ground targets. It's just awkward. I guess it's really easy to hit him, though. In fact, to the point where I don't even need to be near him. But yeah, this way I actively have to keep an eye on where my, uh... I have to keep an eye on where my... Where my shots are even going, because I don't know if they're going to hit him or not. It's an interesting question. But, I mean, we are doing a ton of damage to the Hush, so I guess it's not so bad. Okay. Be great if I had actually kept the We Must Go Deeper, but the Satanic Bible is absolutely just amazing for this. I don't know where my don't know where my reticle is going. It's going places. At least we don't have to line up with him. <sighs> so we just take our time. It'll be okay. He does not like us. I don't know where my reticle goes though. Oh, it is so easy to just miss. I don't even... Alright. Oh, that's fine. Oh, right. Those are the ones that, like, converge on you. Yeah, so I'm just kind of firing them off into a general idea of where he is. Because for all the blood and guts that we're just leaving on the ground, hell if I know what's going on. Chocolate missiles. Yeah, we got chocolate missiles. Alright. I'm so small. Ow. I'm so small and it's such a boon. Okay. Oh, let's take this out. It's annoying. How, what even- oh, just what random shot hit me. Okay. Yeah, we've still got- we've still got... 48 hour energy. We can get my health back. This isn't gonna hit me down here, is it? Hug the walls. That's interesting. Didn't really think about that. But it totally works. Just hug the opposite wall from which he's coming. There's a ton of these dudes. I really wish I had... multiple missiles. You know what? I'm actually kind of surprised that there's no... There's no, like, space laser attack like that, necessarily, where you just hold the laser down and it does continuous damage to whatever it can hit. Why isn't that a thing? Tyrone! Okay. Stop going invincible! I want to kill you! I'm hitting you in the face! You're not dodging under my shots! You're just a nuisance. Come on. One more shot. This is bull. There we go. Took long enough. And we go straight to the cathedral. Wait, no. We were going to the cathedral anyway. Alright. Well, could have been worse. I mean, we'll have plenty of spirit hearts. And health. So I guess this isn't that big of a deal. A lot of money, too, which doesn't do a whole lot of good for me. Oh, man. I really wish, uh, if you could get coin tiers. Coin tiers would give you, um... I wish coin tiers would give you, uh, coin missiles. Which is just a giant falling coin. That'd be hilarious. Let's see. Crack the sky and holy tiers fulfill the requirement. No, but that's not what I mean. I want, I want the tier to just be a reticle on the ground that just moves along. And you just laser people like that. I guess, really, that's Ludovico, isn't it? Damn.
Yeah, that's just that's just Ludovico. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's just Ludovico. Son of a. I thought it was cool. Blow up all the rocks. You're probably right. But first, we deal with these things. Okay. Now let's go blow up all of the rocks. I actually forgot about those. Nope. There's no rocks there. Maybe I did blow them all up. I wasn't paying too much attention. Yeah, I did blow them all up. Okay. <sighs> what was another game that was disappointing? Um... I really didn't like Divinity Dragon Commander, but I wasn't really surprised that it wasn't good. I was really surprised that the Divinity Original Sin was good. Come to think of it. Because Divinity Original Sin is like the quintessential CRPG. It's weird. I'm not used to it. Wait, I'm small enough. Nope, that will hit me. Damn it. I was hoping I could just play it lazy there. No. See, here, Broken Age wasn't that great. Yeah, Broken Age... Uh, that's kind of a hard thing to say. Um, anything by Double Fine, everybody always used to treat like a gold brick. You know, everybody thought it was going to be amazing. Everybody thought it was truly going to be like, more or less, uh, Psychonauts 2. Or some, uh, some equivalent therein. Um... All of these are bad. Well, Bob's Curse might be okay. I got a ton of followers. It's weird. But, uh... Hmm. But yeah, anything by Double Fine is obviously no longer the golden Paragon game that everybody expects from them. Uh, they they recently put up a Kickstarter for, for Psychonauts 2, which, I mean, sounds really good, but probably isn't going to mean anything. Uh, and that's kind of a shame, because I really like Psychonauts 1, but I can almost guarantee that Psychonauts 2 is going to be a massive disappointment. I don't know if it's going to be a betrayal, because I think at this point everybody can see it coming, or at least a lot of people can see it coming. Uh, wow, that's five of them. Jeez. That's generally more than I want to deal with. At least I do a lot of damage to everybody involved. Problem is my health is not looking great. Oh! Huh! Huh! Let me out of here! Fuck that! Holy shit! Six super greeds. Or not super greeds. Uh, super envies. No thank you. Not even close. Damn. I did not expect that. And that was going to be really bad if I got hit by that one. Whew. We had, that was some shit luck. Luckily I could blow the door open. Uh... But yeah, imagine if you had to fight that on a particularly bad run. No. Wow. That would have been chaos if I... I mean, I did hit one. But if I continued just trying to fight in there. Like, the only way that would have been easy to beat is if I had a uh, really heavy strike through. Which would have actually been really funny. Uh, oh, eight, not six. Shit, really? I know there are some monstros interspersed, but they I really wasn't paying too much attention to them. But eight, not six. Fuck. I don't think you can actually deal with that without really heavy strike through. And a massive, massive shot speed. Alright, so let's get some black hearts. Wow, I thought we were screwed. Luckily I was holding on to all of that, uh... Luckily I was holding on to that 48 hour energy. Could've used it earlier, but didn't want to. Let's see. Well, we could get drugs, maybe. It was four on each side. Shit. That's nonsense.
Okay, well, we might as well grab Robo Baby 2.0. We've got Teleport. Uh, you know what? I don't care. It's not gonna bring us anywhere. I'm just gonna magic fingers the shit out of... Blue Baby. Might be able to kill him this way. Yeah. That was great. Dumb, but great. <laughs> That's just like, can you magic fingers blue baby to death? And the answer is, yep, you absolutely can. <laughs>